My name is Professor Brian Tootsworth, and today we are going to see if cheese really comes from rock. One of the most precious elements in the whole entire periodical table. And what some people believe is that cheese comes from the ground like a rock. So if maybe if you cook a rock a certain way, it might even turn into cheese. Cheese! So this rock, let's just say. It's a rock, but what if <coughs> there's more than a rock in it, like cheese or cheese crystals? Physics tells us that rocks are rocks, or biology, whatever. So, uh, yeah, see, this. This bit of rock could even in fact be cheese! Cheese! Yum 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 yum. So, let's just say, we're in a rocky place. What if we had a massive pan full of water and we cooked it all and we had a load of cheese? And then, some guy said, are you sure about that? I'm cooking, I'm cooking rocks. He says, I'm going to eat rocks? No, I'm going to eat cheese. And then he says, why are you cooking rocks then? Because cheese is rocks. Pause your viewer to think about whether cheese is in fact a rock. Obviously cheese. <laughs> cheese formations have been here for thousands of years. You see those orange lines? They are cheese. I'm not particularly sure what type of cheese, but they're cheese. It was cheddar. This is a cheese rock. This was literally what they were mining here for. And as you can see, it has a cheese like texture. And it tastes like cheese. Yum. So, yeah, this is the cheese caves and and ancient and people in the native town think 
there was an ancient cheese goat that slept in the in, in the in the caves and and if anybody found it they would be banished to the caves of the place where we are about now. The cheese mines were blocked off and, um, because of the, f the tail and also that the cheese was deemed too dangerous. Think of it, if we got in there now, we would be all powerful cheese people. Or even we would be banished to the caves of Cheddar. Cheese. they have been carried by glaciers here with their cheese. Now, at the front of the, of the erratic cheese stone, There's a Neolithic cheese carving. Obviously they wanted the cheese out of the erratic cheese. It carried on all the way up there because they were going to cut all that bit off but then they didn't because they forgot it was here. So that's, that's what we found out about erratical cheese. Uh, well, as you can see, we're in a very rocky area, so most of this must be cheese. Cheese? Cheese everywhere. Cheese. Look at that. Cheese. That looks like cheese, right? But how comes cheese only breaks like... Could you eat mud? Would it taste like cheese? Probably. So, this is cheese. And all around here. Is cheese. And, let's say, if you were going to meet a guy, didn't believe you and you were says go pick up that rock and eat it and then he was like you joking no and then he ate it and then he tasted cheese so think about that 